what the heck is a really good table saw insert. Hola, woodworkers. Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. I'm transitioning between projects here, and uh, in doing so, I'm going to change my blade. And in changing your blade, you normally have to change your table saw insert. Now, I started off with this for my regular blade that came stock with my saw stop. And of course, it was pre-cut for width, and so I didn't have any control over that. And pretty much zero clearance when I'm using uh, my regular eighth inch uh, thickness of blade. But then next thing you know, you buy a dado stack. And so then you need to order from somewhere a blank one. And then you decide what width you want that dado stack uh, slot to be. And then you put on the dado stack that wide and you raise it and it cuts itself and so if I had a really wide dado stack, I think the max here, then I'll have pretty much zero clearance as well. But when I do a smaller dado stack, then I've got way too much openings here, nowhere near zero, zero clearance. So then you say, all right, well, I, I want to do a, a little project here, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter method of making drawers. And so I need a really small dado stack on here and so I need to uh, order another table insert so that it's just perfect for that dado stack which is a quarter of an inch wide however maybe I next I need a half inch wide so am I going to keep buying these at 40 or 50 dollars each uh, this one came from Rockler but I think it's actually the saw stop uh, device. So here's what I discovered, and it's a bigger initial investment, but then after that, it should be a lot less expensive. I got this from Infinity Tools. It looks to me it's a brand called Cauliflower. I'm not sure it's hard for me to read it, but what it is is two pieces. There's an insert here that you can take out and replace with another one. This has been designed in this particular case of anodized aluminum so that it won't conduct electricity, at least they say it won't. And anyway, this is what's near the blade and so I'm not worried about this setting off my brake on my saw stop. This one's designed, this insert's designed to accommodate the riving knife and then I would decide if I'm doing a thin blade or a thick one or what, I, what I'm doing. Uh, I wouldn't use this for a dado stack. I would get one that has nothing in it and then raise that for my dado stack because in the dado stack operation, you take off your riving knife. All right, so from Infinity Tools, this was with sales tax and everything else, $122, and it comes with two inserts. I used... Uh, I haven't used this one yet. I set this one up for my, specifically for my Forest Thin Curve uh, Woodworker 2 uh, blade. And I've set it up so it accommodates a blade stiffener as well. But when I put that thin blade in here, it's zero clearance. And that's great. Now, and then I could have this one for a regular width blade. That would take care of my everything but my dado stacks. When I go to the dado stacks, again, I'm just going to order more inserts, and I have four on order without the riving knife hole, and then just cut them for that. So the beauty is I can keep getting these and setting them aside for different width of dado stacks and mark them accordingly, and then just pull the inserts out when I need them for that width of opening. So, not gonna buy any more of these. I think this is gonna be my permanent solution that will be economical for always having the right size or the right width of throat plate. I hope you like that idea. I hope it'll save you over a lifetime of using your table saw. A lot of expense, although it is a big investment up front. Just a reminder, this video is one of our What the Heck Is series of videos. They're designed for beginning woodworkers, and they're designed to be short. If you like them, give me a subscription. If you like this video, hit the 
the like key. And uh, if you didn't like it, really show me that you didn't like it. Go ahead and hit the thumbs down twice. Always remember, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Small Workshop Guy, signing off. want to do that, that's fine. That's probably even better because you learn more about, forget that. <laughs> okay, let's try that again.